welcome to Flutter Android and iOS e-commerce application with admin web portal using Firebase as backend. In this course, you will learn how to integrate a fully functional online payment system that is the Visa and MasterCard system, credit card system that is using Stripe. We will develop fully functional online payment system for the Android and iOS. You will learn how to add a promo system to your Flutter e-commerce application. That is, if I click on Lights Promo, it is going to show me the Lights Categories products. And you can manage and update promos from the admin web panel. For example, I can add a new promo from here for the category vehicles. And then when I add, the new promo added. Similarly, you can update or delete any promo from the promos page in the admin web portal. As you can see, the new promo will start appearing in the user's app. You will learn how to add banner system as you can see and these banners you can control from the admin web portal. You can update the current banners or you can add new banners from the admin web portal. In this course you will learn how to add a coupon system which is the special offers. Now these coupon codes you can add and manage from the admin web portal. You can update the current one or add a new coupon with how much discount you want to give to the users when they apply this specific code at the checkout. Then the user will start seeing this new coupon in the user's app. Now if the user place order then at the checkout the user can apply this coupon card. If the coupon code is correct, then you see the discount is applied. You will learn how to add a category system. And these categories you can control as an admin of the app from the admin web portal. Each category has its priority number. So for example, if you want to uh, make any category a top pick for the users in the users app, then you can update its category number. So for example, if I increase the beauty category, it will become the top one. As you can see, beauty is now at the top one and it becomes the top pick for the users as well, which you can see here. So any category you can update or delete or you can update also the priority number for each category. Similarly, you can add new categories by clicking here and giving the category its name and the priority number that is in which number you want to display it. So if you want it as a top priority, you can give it a higher number than the current categories. Select image and add a new category as you can see which is added here. Now if the user come here and click on this category, so currently it is empty as there is no product uploaded by the admin yet. In the admin web portal, if, you, if the admin go to the products, then the admin can see all the products and the admin can filter out uh, each product based on its uh, category name. You can add new products based on the categories. Let's add a new product to the category beverages, which is the new category which we just added. So this will be the first product in the beverages category. So when you add product, as you can see, it has been added to the beverages category. The users will start seeing in the users app at real time. You will learn how to implement a fully functional advanced cart system where the user can add product or delete products or the user can also increase the quantity for each product. You will learn how to add a coupon system, discount system in the Flutter e-commerce application for the Android and iOS and then you will learn of course how to integrate a fully functional online payment system using Stripe. In this course, you will also learn how to implement the order tracking system. The admin from the orders tab can filter out the orders which are just placed, that is paired, the orders on the way, the orders which are delivered and the orders which are cancelled. 
this order which is just placed by the user as you can see now let's say the admin packed this order and the admin shipped this order so the status of this order will becomes on the way and the user will see this at real time in the user's app that his order has been shipped and the status is on the way similarly when the order is delivered to the user then the admin can mark that as delivered and you will see that the status becomes now delivered as there can be thousands of orders placed from different users so you will also learn how to implement a search feature where the admin can search order by name by username and the admin can also search order by order id so in this course you will learn how to create android and ios e-commerce application as well as a beautiful admin web panel where you can control all the total categories total products total orders orders which are shipped which are not shipped which are cancelled all these things you will learn in this course.